Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Last time we left off, we had an issue. <laughs> um, I didn't last too long in this boss battle, so it looks like we're gonna get it done now. It takes a little bit of practice. The car doesn't drive exactly how you would think it would drive. <laughs> so, it's not the easiest thing. It's, it's not like playing Forza, you know? The, uh, <laughs> the car is a little bit inaccurate and everything stops it. It's really, really easy uh, to stop it. But, as long as you're on that fire and that ice that the actual uh, Magmalus and Furfine are on, um, if, you're on, if you're in the car, it won't roast you. Or at least, I think it won't roast you. Let me go ahead and take one of these, because that's something I neglected to do. Alright, so we gotta find out where they are. Looks like there's one on that side. Good. Very, very easy to connect with it. Should be, at least. There we go! <laughs> right up the stairs. Alright, this thing is very hard to drive. Uh-oh, we fell in the lava. Alright, so we killed one of them. Yes, it only takes one lick. Um, but there's more to the boss stage than that, naturally. Alright, hold on. Cool. Alright. Wait. Steer. Steer. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did I just hit his hand last time? There we go. Magmalus is defeated. Alright. 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 Fern Fiend ap appears. Okay, now we gotta defeat the Fern Fiend. If I can get out of this stupid water. I should have redesigned this whole thing. But I'm too impatient. I'm so close to the end of the scenario, you know? Where's he at? He's over there in the corner. Let's go around mostly to him already. That way we won't have to struggle too hard just to get to him. He's trying to block us with his hand. He did, he did the job, too. Uh-oh. That's what hurts. Okay. Go get him! Get him! Oh, no! Get him! Oh! <laughs> Oh no, this ain't good. This ain't good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no! I couldn't switch fast enough. Maybe I should take a few things and move them around in my inventory. I think that's what I should do. Sort them out a little bit, but that's basically how it goes. Alright, so let's take items. Let's move this swap with this there we go and let's swap this with this and swap uh, swap this with this okay so that should be pretty good here I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of these things all right come on Barbella take us there I want to do it can't believe man can't believe we're gonna get it done this time We'll get it done this time. So yeah, the hands block you. If they see like the car in line with it or whatever, the hands will come up and just like stop your car. Cold track. In the tracks. I don't know what I was trying to say right there. Stop it cold in his tracks. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Yes. Fern Fiend and Mag Malice. The throng of ice and fire. Alright. Let's get to where we can aim. There we go. And yeah, it's still at this location. No, it's not anymore. It just moved already. Actually, that's really, really good. Hold on. It, it will be good if I can get up here. Oh, you saw it dodge me? So yeah, if you're on this ice or fire at any point in time, this thing is so darn hard to steer. All right, hold on. Medical herb, medical herb, car. Oh no, I just ate a seed of life. Well, that's okay too. That's okay too. Dang it, quit roasting me. No! Fire! Oh my god, y'all. The shenanigans trying to make this to work. Okay. Hold on. We're gonna get to him. Oh no. No. <laughs> Dang it. All right, let's let's make sure we're healed up. We'll take a few of our smaller healers. Okay, where would he go? Where would he go? 
He's pretty easy if he's just right off the stairs, just like we saw last time. So I'm gonna go for it here. Did I break that? No, I was gonna say. Got the hand. All right. Can I get out of the lava, please? All right, the hand is broken. He's on the opposite side again. Dang it. There we go. Magmalus is defeated. All right. Where do you take me now? Get out of get out of core. Okay, hold on. Let's heal a little bit. Let's let's take this slow. Fern Fiend is Where is he? Oh, he's on the opposite side. Okay, no problem. Uh it could be a problem. Probably gonna have to kill his hand first. Dang it, I missed it. Dude, get out of here. Alright. Driving around. I'll eventually make it to the corner that he's on. Where? Where? Okay, healing cream. While we're not on the fire or ice. Oh no, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got it, we got it, we got it. See the fire. Uh, see the life of me. One of them seeds. Okay. Got 100 HP back. Where'd he go? He went on one of the opposite sides. Probably all the way to the opposite side. Dang, man. To get to this guy is something else, huh? Dang it, I missed him again. Alright, hold on, hold on. We going, we going, we going. Where's he at? Probably on the opposite side again. Move. Move yourself. Empty room is destroyed. Am I really... Do you think I'm worried about the end of empty room right now? Oh, that sucker. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. I'm eating all my heels. Okay, let me out of here. Let me out of him again. Okay, I got his hand. Got his hand. Alright, where is he at now? There he is. Oh my god, I can't drive this thing. <laughs> the driving, y'all. The driving skills are so bad. Okay. Let's eat a, a couple of heals. Where'd he go? Is he in the same area still? If he is, that's gonna be cool. I just gotta line myself up. Yep, he is. Got him. Whoo! A lot harder than it looks. Okay, um, what's happening now? Minions appear. Got the hand. Okay. Yes, rammed. I'm getting the hang of it finally. All right. Do we have to just beat all the minions now? You know what? Do I have these sizz shots still? The sizz shots and the uh, let's discard this. Let's discard this. Alright, where's the Sizz shots and the, um... Ah, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Okay. Sizz shots and the Crack shots. There we go. How far can these things reach? Outrageous. Maybe I should get a little bit closer. As long as the fire doesn't strike me right here, I should be fine. Oh, 
Oh my god. Will you hit the darn fireball thing? Okay, maybe these things are more trouble than they're worth, huh? Okay. <laughs> Crack shots. Or, or sis shots, I mean. Fuck. Fire. Fuck. Fire. Thank you. Dang, man. Oh, that was almost... He jumped over it? You leaping lizard. Okay. We got half of them down. I wonder what the rest of the boss is going to do. Maybe it's going to be the Magmalus again. If it's that driving stuff again, it's going to suck. But as long as I take it kind of slow, I think I'll be alright. Okay, fine. I'm just going to go straight up to it and hit it. I was trying not to take any damage, but this is ridiculous. I need, like, my, sing my slingshot needs a crossbow. I need first person. We used, like, 30 of them things. That's sad. Oh my god. Alright, the minions are defeated. Get in the car. Oh! What's happening now? Uh oh. The ice and fire is meeting. Oh, snap. And <laughs> the stupid post is in the way and I can't see its face. <laughs> Alright, what now? A hostile merger appears. That's okay. I'm all right with that. I'm okay with that. Get me out of here. Okay, that healed me. Okay, where's he at? The other side? Yeah, break all that stuff so I can get around easier. I wonder if I can go straight up and just smack him right here. One of the hostile merge's hands is defeated. Okay. Get a little bit close up. Got him. Okay, get out the lava. Heal up a little bit. We doing all right, y'all. We doing all right. We doing all right. Takes some getting used to, though. Whew. All right. Where is he at? He's over there. Okay, no problem. We're gonna go meet him. The closer we get to him, the easier it is to hit him. I wonder if it's only one 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 smack. Got him for 490. Okay, the hostile merges hands come back to life. I kind of expected that. The Minus Smith is destroyed. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, one of the hands are defeated. Alright, I gotta get healed. At least you can hide down here and stuff when you fall. Okay, that's worth it. Totally worth it. Alright, we got one if I don't fall in the lava. Alright, where's he at? He's on that side. Coming to get you. The hot baths. Dang it. Oh no, where'd he go now? Okay, he went to the other side. That's okay, that's okay. That's alright. Got it. I'm gonna try to keep this puppy on the road. Got it. Wow. Do I even have room for this? Whatever it is? Yeah, I do. I do. Whatever this is, I got room for it. Um, there it is. Cracked crystal. Obtains the cracked crystal. Sunstone, 
a divine jewel that shines like the summer sun. So now we got the staff of rain, the sunstone. Hmm. Okay, everybody's excited. Where's Barbella? Upstairs? Dang, we're gonna have to go all the way upstairs, Barbella. Are you serious? Let's get the my Oh no, there she is. There she is. I was about to say, you need to come down here. I just fought a battle and you just playing around upstairs. Oh, holy smokes, you actually did it. Well in, Zuljin. You gave that hostile merger the proper punch of the bracket. Those rotten monsters used Galileo's secret invention to make themselves more powerful than ever before. But they were no match for that ultimate weapon you built. What's that? You, it weren't just you that built the Bashmobile, it was all of us? Blimey, Zuljin, you can't come up with a decent name to save your life, but you know what they say to bring tears to my eyes. <laughs> but but anyway, you know that funny looking crystal you picked up? I think you might be able to use something, wait, make something out of it that'd clear away the darkness. What do you reckon, Zuljin? Okay, get to work on that crystal. Um, I can't ride that now. Why? Is it because they're in front of me? Um, oh my god, why? No, we can't? You know what? Screw this. I'm not even putting up with it, y'all. I'm not. I am not putting up with this. I'm angel winging. What? Let me out. Angel wing. We'll get to the top one way or another. <laughs> Quick way up the ladder. Couldn't use my cart. I can't believe. Um, alright. Let's see. What, what do we make that thing with then? Do we make it here? Um, I don't know what to do. Get to work on that crystal. That's all it says. Didn't it say that I learned how to make a sunstone? Um, recipes. Sunstone. Welder's workbench. I thought so. Why didn't it show me? Or did I just overlook it? Did I just over I did overlook it. It was the first dadgum option. Wow, look at this. I'm welding it, boy. Okay, makes the sunstone. Okay, so Barbella should give me a quest now. Nice work, Suljin. You put the sunstone back together. The thing will get rid of the darkness over Call and Gallant Home. No problem. Thanks, Suljin. If Galileo could see you now, I'd bet he'd be as proud as you of you as I am. But enough of this soppy old rot. That sunstone's up your banner and hope. Um, and make this shine, sun shine again. Okay, so I guess we just go downstairs and use it. And I still can't. Hold on. I don't have my fall boots on anymore. I will die. I will die right here. Um, equipment. There we go. Fall boots. Now I can, now I can do it. Alright. Use the flag. Um, where's the sunstone? Here we go. And this is it. This is it. It went through the floor. Dang, Bobby. Look what we did. Look at this funny looking town, man. <laughs> it looks like a flower, kind of. The light returns to call and gallant home. We has light again. Zuljin, my child, you've done well. You have freed this land of the Dragon Lord's evil influence. Now its people are free to rebuild it in their own image. However, not my image for sure. However, your duty is not over yet. There are others who still suffer from the Dragon Lord's rule and await your something. Uh, blimey, Zuljin, just look at that sky. I've never seen anything so blue before. It's beautiful. It's just so, so beautiful. That night, the people of Call and Gallon Home hold a party to celebrate their victory over the monsters. The bodybuilders dance and dine and flex their muscles while the youngsters of Gallon Home giggle at their antics and make plans for the future. And in the shadows at the fringes of the firelight stands Galileo, his eyes fixed on Barbella. 
He gazes at her with tenderness in his eyes and a satisfied smile on his lips. But Zuljin is the only one who knows um, he's there. Then morning comes. All right. Uh, you awake yet, Zuljin? Blimey. My head's pounding like a hammer hood. I reckon it's a bit too much fun last night. I don't know if it was just the exhaustion catching up with me, uh, but I even started seeing things. I thought I saw Galileo hanging out in the shadows, but it must have been a dream. The music's so good right now. Uh, he had this stupid grin on his face, just like old times. Speaking of seeing things, Glutamus spotted something uh, to a light in the sky over the western mountains. Of course, you don't have to look into it if you ain't interested. I just thought you might want to go have a gander. Yeah, this is the next spot. This is the next spot, you guys. So, it is on the western, said? Oh, yeah, this is the store. Uh-huh, well, it's glowing. You really can't miss it, can you? Well, I'm hoping the next area is not as hard to get started with food and stuff and healing items because... That was a pain, man. He's not gonna come up here with me, I don't think. Can I just get up here, please? Thank you. Alright. Yep, here's the altar. Zuljin, my child, the light before you is a portal to the next land you must free from the Dragon Lord's curse. The items, the knowledge, and the strength that you have acquired in this place will not survive the journey. The moment you pass through the portal of light, you will lose everything. It seems like by now, you would have come up with a better way to transport me, goddess. You will be transported to the deathly moors of Tantagel, where the darkness is so dense that even my own powers cannot penetrate it. There you must complete the sacred duty that has been bestowed onto you. Once you have done so, your role of Lefgard's revival will be complete. This task is yours and yours alone. Know that I do watch over you as always. Who's going to visit us? Somebody going to stop us? They always do. Yeah. Oh, Glutamus. Oi, oi, oi. What the heck's going on here, Zuljan? Don't tell me you're going to sink off without saying goodbye to your old mate Glutamus. You can't do this to me, Zuljan. I thought we was going to be bodybuilding buddies. Ah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so selfish. If Barbella heard me whining like that, she'd give me a proper walloping. You've got a world to rebuild, ain't you? Build your body's gotta be <laughs> second in line or something like that. Uh, but still, we've got to, uh, why have you gotta be so heartless, honestly? You and Barbella are like two peas in a pod. I told you, uh, I told her you was leaving and she didn't even flinch. Look, Zuljan, I know where you're off to. You're heading to Tantagel, ain't you? I guess that's Tanagel or Tantagel. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. There ain't nothing but there death and darkness. The whole place is a wasteland of ashes, ruled over by a being of pure evil. I think the Dragon Lord. But you're dead set on going over there, and there's something I've got to give you. Hold on to this tool. Hold on to him as tight as you can, and I reckon you'll be able to take them all the way to Tanagel. I guess we can call it Tanagel. Um because it just sounds better. Tantagel sounds like a medicine or something. Well, I suppose this is it. Then be lucky, Zuljan, and don't, don't do nothing I wouldn't do. You got it, Glutamus. We're all counting on you, you know. Get yourself over to Tanago and the whole of Alephgard... Wait. And give the whole of Alephgard the new lease of life. All right. Zier, 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 zier. New chapter, new chapter. Days to complete 109, different items obtained, 220. Crafting station used 580 times. Complete the chapter within 30 days? Uh, that would be rough. Days to complete took me 109. Build your base to level five, yeah, I didn't do that this time. All right, you can now view the 100 challenges for each chapter. 100 challenges. Wow. Wow. Final chapter. It doesn't say chapter 4, it just says final chapter. I like that. It gives you a little bit of closure on what's going on. A new island has been unlocked in uh, Terra Incognita. New recipes have un been unlocked in Terra Incognita. All right. Oh, look at this place. 
It is wasteland. The music, man. <sighs> it brings back so many memories when I hear it. Zuljan, my child, can you hear my voice? You stand in the land of death, a place where light cannot reach. In this land of Tanagel, all has been lost, even the banner of hope. And yet, I see something. Go forth, young Zuljin. Seek out your fellow man and find the banner. And know, my child, that I watch over you as always. Wow. Well, we're going to have the most epic music to listen to while we play this chapter. This is awesome. Long have I awaited the coming, Zuljin. Why I have fair lost count of the years. Thou art the builder of the prophecy, or thou not? Come, let me look upon thee. If a fledgling child such as thee are truly the savior of whom Almighty Rubis spoke, I fear we have a long road ahead of us. And yet, tis the path we must needs take. I am Mirland, seeker of, seer of Tanagal. Follow me. All right, we following you. Look, even the ivy's black over here. This would remind me of like the black area that used to take damage in um, in Dragon Warrior. Huh, huh, huh. Gulp. Forgive me. I'm not as young as I once was. Let me rest for a while, I prithee. Thou art the servant of Almighty Rubus and one whose coming I have awaited so many long hard years. But if it is true, wherever wearest thou the vacant visage of a slack-jawed simpleton. Wow, that's a mouthful. And wherefore we first we met, this thou not address me as sir, but rather the more informal granddad. Well, no matter. Our destination lies ahead. Let us continue. Did it say what his name is? Oh yeah, Mer Merlin, <laughs> not Merlin. <laughs> Tell me, boy, does that attempt to outstrip me just then? Well, no matter. Even if thou were to take a whip to me, I could not move any faster. I must rest for a moment. This land was once the home to the great city of Tanagal, capital of kingdom, capital of the kingdom of Alefgard. But now, tis little more than an ashen wasteland, incapable of supporting human life. Tanagel has become a land of darkness, where hope and happiness are but fleeting memories. As the builder of legend, it falleth to thee to fulfill thy sacred duty and bring this benighted, I guess, benighted land back to the light. But is a measly minnow such as thee truly capable of such a feat? Why well, I gotta be a minnow? I guess it's better than potato face. Come, let us proceed. Our destination is near at hand. There's a skeleton over there. Oh, I got the barbells. What do these things? They're just decorations. <laughs> That's funny. And all I got is my little stick. Okay, I think we found the flag, dude. Beautiful. Yeah, there's a little bit of light right here. It is tiny, though. It is very tiny. And there's a statue right there. Ha ha! <laughs> Welcome, Zuljan, to the last gasp of life remaining in all Tanagel. I did bring thee here, the Almighty Rubus' command, that it might serve as a staging post for thy rebuilding efforts, as well as thou seest this place is all encircled by death, and ere the light is to return to Tanagel, oh, if ever the light is to return to Tanagel, thou must first breathe life back into this land. Beg pardon? Thou wishest to know more of the statue that standeth outside? Tis a lifelike image of the princess who once lived in these lands, carved in stone. I know not whence it came, but mayhap tis that statue, enlightening influence, that keepeth the darkness at bay. So too must thou needs find a way to return his ashen land to life. When thou hast discovered such a method, I did bid thee journey 
to the ruins of Tantagel Castle and rebuild the capital anew. I know many things, but how thou will accomplish this aim is not among them. You must need think upon it thyself. The only guidance that I can offer unto thee is this. May it light thy way in the darkness. Green Navaglobe. All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of the episode. Next time we come back, we'll do a little bit of exploring, a little bit of questing, and get Chapter 4 started. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uldian signing off. And we'll see you next time.